Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use HubSpot task queues and workflows to automate the creation and assignment of internal tasks for your customer facing arrows plans. So the first thing to look at is this task queue. We have uh, internal plan tasks, which is going to hold all the tasks that our internal team has to do related to customers arrows plans. The really nice thing about task queues, you can click start tasks and you get this nice little workflow bar up here, which lets you jump right between tasks without switching screens. So as you complete each task, you can just go ahead, mark it complete, go to the next one, and really just sort of crank through your tasks. So how do we set that up? We have a workflow, which we are kicking off based on the entry of a deal, which you could also use tickets for this, but the entry of a deal into a certain stage in our onboarding pipeline. We just check that deal has an Arrows plan URL because we'll be using Arrows data in order to drive this process. And then we also have this little hack. If you don't use HubSpot Operations Pro, I have another video on creating a today's date property dynamically. We can check if that has been updated in the last day or not, and then you can just rerun this every 24 hours. So how does this work? First off, uh, lots of if-then branches. The first, we're going to check which template we are using for this particular deal that's entering the workflow. So we're just checking against the arrows template name, which is a dynamic value, which we can update on a HubSpot property. That just allows us to sort of branch based on the different versions of our plan or the different templates that we might be using for different customer segments in onboarding. So in this example, this is our sales assist plan with an account created template. And the first type of task that we're gonna create uh, is time-based tasks. So what this means is that if you know when a deal enters onboarding, okay, we need to go and create tasks for today, two days from now, three days from now, you can set a date and just set days relative to creation or the running of this workflow for the first time, which goes out and creates all those tasks. You can set email reminders and any details about the task in here. And then importantly, we're going to add this task to our internal plan tasks shared task queue and just set the task to be assigned to the deal's current owner. So this is where things get a little bit more interesting and a little bit more complicated. If we want to set context-based tasks, so say we want to set a reminder if somebody is overdue on a task, if a customer is overdue on completing a task, then we can tell our internal team to escalate or to send a follow-up email to hopefully get that task completed. So what we do to do that is we check if the arrow's current task name is not equal to answer these questions, which in our template, answer these questions is the first task name. If it is not equal uh, there, then that means that one must have been completed. So we're gonna go on and run another logic branch. If we are on the current task, um, or if the current task name does match this discovery questions complete, then we're gonna check is this task past due by using the arrows current task due date? If the task is past due, then we can create our task. We could also automate the email to go out to the customer, to our internal team, to a manager, whatever we need to. Or if the task is not past due, we can just ignore it. This was not the current task. Then we just move on to the next task in the plan. So in this case, set up your HubSpot pipeline. If we scroll down, set up your HubSpot pipeline. And then we would just repeat the same process. We would just do this for every task that is in a plan, or at least every task in a plan that we wanted to potentially trigger something based on. So this is a quick overview showing how to create time-based tasks or context and activity-based tasks from your Arrows plan directly in HubSpot. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, just let me know, but we'd love to hear what you think.